Hello. Today I am making, I would say they're Christmas or New Year's cup cocoa bombs. Now, these are five ounce Dixie cups. I know three ounces are easier to find, but if you go to the main grocery stores, you'll see five ounces and I'm cutting the tops off to prepare them to fill with chocolate. Alrighty, so now I am pouring the chocolate in the cup. See there? And you see how that's going around there? The chocolate. Alrighty, let's see. See inside of there? There you go. There you go. Alrighty. I'm gonna finish these. I've already started this one. Let's see. See? It's not ready yet though. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. I melted chocolate just like I've mentioned in the previous videos. If you want a tutorial on melting chocolate, just look in the, I think it's video one, actually. One, I think I even have some cocoa bombs on video one, maybe five, six, seven. But you can clearly see it. I'm going to finish these and put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes. I'm adding a second coat. Okay, better safe than sorry. I want to be sure they're sturdy and see we pick up another one let's see this one should be just about dry there you go see there see that line in there that white line that needs to be filled that's on the bottom so you just take the back of your spoon and and go over it again and that'll give you a second coat but guys, look at this one. It didn't need a second coat. Hmm. All righty, now I am pouring my tops. Okay guys, after I filled my cups, I put them in the refrigerator for literally maybe three minutes, four minutes. And now I'm setting my spoons now whoa mm, that one's almost let's see uh oh that one's too loose okay we won't do that one let's see so those two were fine this has to set more let's see oh okay that one's working Okay. This one looks like it's ready. And there you go. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this in the Refrigerator for five minutes. Right. Now we are removing the cup. Guys, be extra gentle. Try not to get fingerprints. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to fill all your cups with your cocoa and, and whatever treats you have. I'm adding some 
miniature marshmallows. And I'm adding chocolate and white chocolate and milk chocolate chips. This is gonna be so yummy. And I'm adding Pop Rocks. Oops, it's starting to pop. And look at the gold candy stars. We're adding gold candy stars. You can add all types of candy to make it festive, like sprinkles. This is a good idea as well. Got some tree candy. I've tried all that before. Let's add some Christmas trees, yay. Let's see. All right. Okay guys, I took this plate and I microwaved it. See that? I'm gonna smooth this out. And I'm going to put it on here. There you go. Just that easy. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, I'll do the rest. I put some simple sanding sugar you can pour that anywhere. Now I'm going to glue this wreath made out of chocolate. Now in my previous videos, I explained this totally, right? We're going to put that right here. You gotta hold it a second, all right? Just a second, I might need to put a little more chocolate. I've been decorating. Mm. Okay, now, again, if you go to my previous video, it might be the first or second one I talk about chocolate, what kind of chocolate, how to melt the chocolate, how to use these molds. All I did was use the mold and make a wreath. Okay. Now, we have several options. Right now, I'm gonna use this gold luster dust. And I'm going to paint some more gold around my wreath. I just want some more. Okay, see it? Mm -hmm. Now that's pretty. There you go. Highlight a little bit here. And then. I'm gonna do something fun. I'm going to take these gold stars. Now let's see. I'm right-handed, so it's gonna be a little trick here. Take it with tweezers. Okay. Oops. And I'm going to place, oops. Uh -oh. Wrong hand, actually. Good. I'm gonna place it on the wreath. Now look at there. And here's one back here. Star. Just a little bit of chocolate. A little bit of chocolate acts as glue. And I'm gonna put one right there. Just like little ornaments. Watching me decorate this. I love one right there in the middle. Like a knot in the bow. 
Oops. And just imagine sitting here through all these that I've done. I'm gonna show, show a picture at the end. But I've just been sitting here working on them. I want to give you an idea of different things you can do to decorate your cup bombs. Okay. I think it needs to start right here, right guys? So let me get one more. And Okay, here we go. Now, now I'm going to place my marshmallows on. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of chocolate and then I'm going to layer. Oops, I don't like that one. Uh, that looks okay. I'm going to layer some marshmallows around here. I'm not sure it does cover up the seam where the, where the cookie meets the chocolate. And you can just, again, use that as glue. Now, if you don't want any of the milk chocolate showing, you can always use white chocolate. Mm-hmm. Now you can stack this as much as you want. Okay. Now, okay, you see there? I'm gonna stay. That's gonna stay pretty good. I wanna put one more up here. Okay. Mm-hmm. See that? Okay. Then I'm gonna turn it around. Okay. And I want some across the back as well. That's the back. Turn this back around, okay. Alrighty, so let's make some quick decisions. Quick decisions here. I think I wanna put more marshmallows on this one. That's right there. It's kind of avalanche looking, let's see. Okay, and then I'll put one more and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next, okay? Now, okay, let's see if I can squeeze one over here, right there. Okay, now, I'm going to take these sprinkles here I like these sprinkles. Okay. I'm gonna use the stars, the red, gold, and green stars. And let me show you how I'm gonna get it to stick. Okay, let's see here. I'm just gonna take this and just put it around there. On there, and then I'm gonna put all these sprinkles yeah. See how pretty that looks. Mm -hmm. So in a little bit here, move forward, just move forward like that. There you go. Thank you. I have a camera person today. All right, and what I'd like to do is, it's kind of dry now. I'm gonna to have to put some, what I normally do is put vanilla flavoring just a little bit, and because, you know, just for that alcohol in it. 
and I put gold luster dust in this bowl and painted on, but I'm thinking it's pretty dry now, so I'll be right back. I'm going to fill this back up. All right, now I'm going to, do you see that? I'm just adding a little dust, gold dust on the marshmallows, in different areas, just as a decorative holiday festive effect. You can use it how you want, but it's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Hmm, I have an idea. I can even put some in the middle. You just kind of use it the way you want. Make these stars a little brighter. When it dries, it's going to be absolutely lovely. And I'm going to show it to you. Thank you guys for seeing me through another project. I'm going to plate it. And just to give you an example, I'm going to take it and put it in this cup. So cupcake holder. Mm -hmm. Now, you can put these in bags and put a pretty tie on it. But since I have already decorated quite a few of them, mm, let's switch. I'm just going to add this to the rest. Look how beautiful, guys. My Christmas, New Year's Cocoa Bomb Cups. And they are going to be absolutely dish delicious. I'm going to touch them up with a little gold and more glitter, like this glitter. I really like, for instance, I'll go through it and I'll, since this is the one I was working on, look at there. You can just touch that up. Looks like little Christmas ornaments. See there? It's really pretty. This is more like a glitter. This one's a red glitter. The gold is more like a dust. Okay, guys, I decided to run some fudge along there. Doesn't that look pretty? I did them over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all you do, kind of zoom in, honey. Let them see how easy it is. Yeah. Okay. Huh? I think I'll do that on the back too. Hmm? See how pretty that is? Show them over here. Look, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Here is my final plating. Here are all the cocoa cup bombs. They are absolutely beautiful and are going to be so tasty. From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.